It's like a horror movie, you know, they all just like stare and look at you. They got me for you! <laughs> With nowhere to be for the next few weeks until the start of the ski season, Rob Roy Glacier was our next target. It didn't occur to me until we arrived that this was a very special place that actually helped drive me back to New Zealand. So I was here 10 years ago with my brother. We were doing a adventure tour around New Zealand and the tour guide that we had asked us if there was anything special that we wanted to do. My one request was to go to sheep chasing. So when we were on our way to Rob Roy Glacier, he pulled over and he's like, all right, let's get out. <laughs> and we just like... <laughs> the one guy ran into a cow patty, slid into it and got smeared in poop, rounded up all the sheep and had him running straight at me. And I actually couldn't remember where it was because it's been so long. So we're trying to decide if we're gonna get into the park because we have to ford nine rivers to get across. Apparently this is the first one, which is the most difficult. Right here is like... Let's go for it. <sighs> I don't know, man. Dave's nervous. I mean, I'm more nervous about that one than that one's gonna be tomorrow. Like, we get in and we can't get out but it also makes me nervous that there's no cell phone coverage at all here mm -hmm. and there's not going to be for the next while. I, mean, I guess good going for it. It's like so high off the ground and like the wheels. Going for a drink of water. <laughs> Hi. that there was like a hole in my skull and my brain was coming out and there was a big pimple on the brains that were like coming out of my head. There's only like two things to wash, that's crazy, man. Yeah? What? Our combo. He wants to audio record your combo? That's our van life story. Actually? Mm. I have to go say hello. Did you say yes? I said yeah, go on. Oh, no Good worries. Morning. I'm Nick. Daisy. <laughs> Daisy? Yes. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Seattle was the first place to have a COVID case, COVID death, first state, first place to like lock shit down. So my massage business totally got decimated with the COVID. Okay. Everything stopped. 16 years just destroyed in a month. So, you know, had some like freak outs that I was like, fuck yeah. this, I'm gonna go hiking. <laughs> <laughs> Become a nomad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So coming to New Zealand, I was like, 
yeah, Bedlam! <laughs> it's accepted here. Yeah. It's not just for crackheads. It's a weird year in Seattle for sure. Because there's the lockdown and then George Floyd's murder and all the Black Lives Matter protests and horrible as the whole cause for it was. It was yeah. the best part of the summer in Seattle was just like this collective unification around something. Yeah. Next Nick trip. Easterday, uh, Drift Mobile Massage is the Instagram or like my alter ego where it's like all street art stuff is love notes hate mail. I've actually done this hike before. Really? Nice. Like 10 years ago. <laughs> oh. So I don't really remember, honestly. Well, you can't tell that I can't remember. <laughs> it'll be interesting to see like if you notice the glaciers retreat. That is beautiful hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, now I got it. <laughs> the very superficial, like, oh, tell me about your, your tattoo. Like, I got tons of tattoos, and you know, each one has a story and a significance and all that. But uh, I know that there's more to it, so. Check out the lichen. Lichen's always pretty fascinating. Let's see. You can look at it on the screen here. How about we look at it with our eyes? <laughs> so, okay, find, find the corner. So just start a little figure eight. A little bit different. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. there we go. <laughs> Stand so that the wind is at your back. A more much more successful socialization session. Yeah, we managed to make friends with three different people. Friends! Oh, football friends! Oh, <laughs> football friends! If you don't know that reference, we're not friends anymore. I don't know that reference. That's why we're not friends anymore. Oh, okay. We've pulled over to have a little bit of lunch on the side of the road here. I mean, it was a great view at the end. It was pretty cool. It was just like so, like in your face and vast and big. And the walk itself wasn't that exciting. The drive out here was pretty incredible. I think the uh, the company was what made the 
more exciting. Which is funny because the first time I did it, I thought it was one of the best hikes ever. Now in retrospect, I, I'm looking at it and I think it was also the company too at that time. I can't say for sure how much the glacier has retreated, but I can say that it definitely looks different to how I remember it. Much in the same way that the memory of the experience has changed. And for me, it was one of those formative experiences that you sort of forget about over time, but ultimately lead you where you are today.